Well, it's May 23rd, and summer has come, even to Minnesota. It's 90 degrees outside, a gajillion percent humidity, and I want fresh bread. So I'm going to go through how you can do, there's many ways to do bread on the grill. I'm going to go through uh, one of them that works particularly well. It's doing using the grill uh, to cook everything in a cast iron pot. So um, let's take a look at what I've got going here. Uh, this has uh, been sitting for, for 90 minutes. This is a, um, this is a loaf of, uh, it's actually a high whole grain uh, rye bread from the second book, Healthy Bread in 5 Minutes a Day. And it's sitting on a narrow piece of parchment. It's been sitting under there for 90 minutes. I could have put plastic wrap on that, but I didn't. I like saving the plastic wrap. It's good better for the environment to just drop something like this over it. A roomy bowl will work. Um, uh, a lasagna pan thrown over it'll work. So that's been sitting for 90 minutes. I'm okay, I'm going to slash this loaf. It's already been dusted with flour. I'm going to make a cross in it. It's pretty nice. It blooms a bit. And we're ready to take it out to the grill where I have uh, been preheating a cast iron pan for 90, for, I'm sorry, for 30 minutes. And you'll see that outside. Okay, so if you, get your, uh, you get your gas grill with a thermometer hopefully to 450. Keep it about that plus or minus 25 degrees. Um, so about a half hour, well, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. And I like to use the one quart uh, cast iron pot with a cover. Now don't handle this, obviously, unless you have oven mitts. So we'll get to that. But take your sling of bread and put it in here. And what you can see is, why don't you come in with that? You can see that the small one sort of contains it. Go ahead and cover it. And a plane is coming, but that's okay. And close it. 30 minutes, well 20 minutes to take the lid off and you're done.